14 years separate David and Peter Hayes. And those who don't know them probably wouldn't pick them as brothers. They have different builds, different mannerisms, different personalities. What they share, though, is the same vision, the same love of horses and the same determination to keep the Hayes name at the top of Australian and now international racing. David Hayes handed in his Australian licence to seek international challenges in Hong Kong earlier this year. And he began in the colony in the same fashion as he dominated racing here. Now it's Steve cutting them down on the outside for the David Hayes stable. And Steve ranged up, takes the lead, and David Hayes breaks through straight away as Steve by a neck. Second graceful win, third blue and gold. But when David left the Lindsay Park Empire, there were many who wondered how elder brother Peter would handle the pressure of heading up the massive operation established by their father Colin. The answer has been emphatic, and if the spring carnival so far has been quieter than he'd like, the Hayes name is still comfortably atop the training premiership. Everyone says they're different, and that David is the talkative one. He also likes his Chinese food. David trains 47 horses in the regulated environment of Hong Kong, it's a far cry from the 120 he trained back home, many of them Group 1 standard. I'd certainly miss my Jerns and Blevicks and St. Covets. Uh, I'd love to have them heading the string here. But uh, uh, I've got a lot more time on my hands uh, and uh, uh, it's a lot easier really. David, why did you leave Australia? Um, for a change of environment, uh, not as much travelling. Um, coming to a booming racing economy uh, and a new challenge, probably the main reason. But I do miss the rolling hills of Lindsay Park and uh, how private it is. So have you set yourself any goals here in Hong Kong? Uh, yes, I would love to win a premiership here. Uh, I, I, don't, I think I've got very little chance of winning it in my first year because I haven't got the numbers of quarterly horses. But by the time I build my team up, I'd like to win a premiership, hopefully my second or third year. And then after that, uh, we'll see how the uh, change of government is going here. And if I'm not enjoying it, I'll just be going home. David stays in constant contact with the Lindsay Park Empire back home, and it often works to his advantage. He's, uh, he's taken about uh, 15 good horses out of the stable. Pete has done extremely well and uh, I'm missing the spring racing. That's probably the only thing I'm missing just at the moment and mum tries. Ten years ago, Peter was the prince of Lindsay Park until he advocated in favour of a more introspective lifestyle as a small trainer at Oak Bank in South Australia. When Colin Hayes retired in 1990, that left David, the youngest of four children, at the head of the massive operation. Peter returned to the fold as a foreman a few years ago, and when the opportunity came for David to leave, this time he was ready for the big job. He was ready to do it, um, and uh, um, he just said that he'll make me look a mug when I leave. The 14 year difference between you and Peter, did you have much in common? Um, we. Uh, both love football and we enjoyed playing sport. We had that in common. Um, um, but Peter's a, a quieter style of person than me. And, uh, and I'm a harder working style of that. You know, I work hard and say, oh no, I prefer, to, uh, I prefer to do the job. I mean, obviously there are, um, there are good things about both jobs, but uh, I prefer to be doing what I'm doing. David is definitely the more talkative of the brothers, yes, even when he knows he shouldn't be. Oh, Mum will kill me if I'm talking in the mouth, so I'll shut up. <laughs> and Peter agrees. Uh, yes. Yes. 